everybody, it's Jenny J, 1911. I am at Cimarron Firearms and I have a really, really cool little tidbit of information for you all about cowboy action shooting. So make sure that you get a pen and paper and write down what I'm telling you because this is actually going to be something that I'm going to save you a few steps of having to do some extensive research by talking with our special guest, Greg. So we are at Cimarron Firearms and I am with my friend, Greg. Greg is a really cool guy to talk to because he knows so much about these firearms. We have spent a lot of time looking at, especially the revolvers in the front case, and we're gonna do a little pan of those in a little bit so you can see those too. But what I'm interested in is, you know, we talked about doing some competitive shooting. And of course, one of our one of our options is the cowboy action shooting. And Greg here knows a little bit about getting set up for that. So in talking to him yesterday, we realized there was a lot we didn't know, probably a lot you don't know about getting started because you know, we want this to be a very accessible sport for you and there's no reason to go out and spend money on something you're not going to be able to use. So Greg's going to tell us exactly what we need to buy to get started. So first of all, Greg, thank you so much for spending some time with us. You're welcome. And um, so go ahead and tell us what do we need to be able to go out and actually compete with our guns? Well, number one, if you want the Colt style revolver, the 1873 single action army revolver, this is what the majority of the shooters are shooting. They're either shooting the Ruger Vaquero revolver or they're shooting our Evil Roy, ours meaning Cimarron Firearms Evil Roy revolver. The, the Cimarron is built on the Colt 1873 single action army frame. It is a clone or a reproduction of the Colt 1873 Single Action Army. You're going to want to either get that in two calibers. The primary most popular caliber is in the 357 Magnum, and then everybody shoots 38 Special through that gun. The primary barrel length is four and three quarters. That's by far the most popular barrel length is the four and three quarter inch in 357 Magnum shooting 38 specials. The second barrel length would be the five and a half. It's really your uh, preference. It doesn't really matter. The four and three quarter is a little bit quicker in and out of your holster and it's a little bit quicker to point and find your target. So most people prefer the four and three quarter. Getting the gun back into your holster and reholstering your gun is actually more important than a fast draw. Because if you drop the gun on the ground, you're DQ'd and you're out. So you've got to be able to have your shorter barrel lengths to find your holster and draw from your second holster as fast as you can. So four and three quarter inch Cimarron Firearms Evil Roy in 357 Magnum is the number one choice. A lot of people prefer the old cowboy round though, being more traditional. And so they go to the 45 Colt. So 45 Colt if you want tradition, or 357 if you want low recoil in the 38 Special so you have no barrel rise. The idea is to shoot as fast as you can shoot, right? And you don't want the barrel coming up. The 45 Colt generally brings more barrel rise than the 38 Special. So most people shoot the 38 Special so there's no barrel rise at all between their shots. That help. It does. It makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So, okay. So we have our revolver covered. What else are we going to need to shoot, though? Well, we've got rifles. So the 1873 rifle. So we have an 1873 single action army, and a lot of people kind of get this confused because there's 1873 was a huge year for firearms. 
Colt introduced their new 1873 single action army revolver, and Winchester also introduced their new lever gun in 1873. So they both carry the same year. This is the number one shooting rifle right here for cowboy action sash shooting. It has the 18 inch octagon barrel, again chambered in the same caliber that your revolver is chambered in. So you're only shooting one style of ammunition, one caliber of ammunition in 38 Special. So if you buy the 1873 saddle rifle, which means it has an 18 inch full octagon barrel, and you get that in 357 Magnum, it will cycle the 38 Special. So you can shoot 38 Special in your rifle and your sidearm, both, and you only have to have one bullet in all your bullet loops and on all your belts. So it makes it simpler and just less confusion for people. So most people like having the same caliber in their rifle as they do in their revolvers, okay? Again, the shorter barrel lengths are quicker to mount to your shoulder, they come up faster, and then when you're trying to move from one target to the next target in the cowboy action shooting, you're doing that really fast. And so you can move the shorter barrel from one target to the next quicker than you can longer barrels. So you want definitely shorter barrels. Now the, the full octagon is a little bit heavier. And so some of the ladies like the carbine design. So this is an 18 inch barrel, but it's a round barrel instead of the octagon barrel. And so it's a little bit lighter weight rifle. It's still an 1873 model, but it's a carbine design with an 18 inch round barrel. So this is a great option for the ladies that don't want so much weight out there on the end, right? It's easier for them to hold it up and work the lever that way, okay? Now for some guys, some guys just like the balance of a longer barrel. So the longest barrel that we recommend for cowboy action shooting is the 20 inch full octagon. This rifle is called the short rifle. And so again, still being in 1873, the 1873 action is the action you want, the platform, because the action is smooth as silk. And you can also trick it up a little bit if you want to. You can do what they call short stroking, uh, the lever action on this if you want to. And you can reduce the amount of throw on that and shorten that so it's a little quicker in and out. A lot of the cowboy shooters do that. So the 73 is by far the only rifle you really want to be shooting. It's the safest rifle and it allows you the most uh, modification. Uh, that you can do and play with your gun and kind of get it the way you like it. So the 20 inch short rifle is your longest barrel length if you happen to like a longer barrel, but they're slower. They're slower to mount, they're slower to move from one target to the other. The 18 inch, the 18 inch saddle rifle is really the one that most people are shooting. We don't have the other rifle here called the Texas Brush Popper, which is a half octagon, half round. I don't have that to show you, unfortunately, today. But it's a great choice, too. And then the carbine design, which is a little lighter gun. So those are your three rifles that you want to get serious about looking at so you're not wasting time spending money on things that you really don't need. And then the Evil Roy revolvers are your definite way to go with revolvers. Now, okay, so we talked about something yesterday that really <laughs> interested me. That was making sure the rifle fits. Yes. Okay? I'm a girl. I'm a little bit smaller frame than, you know, a man who's going to go out and shoot this. So what did you tell me about how we figure out what's going to fit best? So... We put, the, we put the gun in the crook of your elbow, like so. 
just like that. And then you see where your finger comes across. So try that again like we did it yesterday. There you go. That's it. So you can see, obviously, his finger reached a little bit further than mine. Mine barely covers this trigger. Yes. Right. So right. this would not be a good size option. It's a little bit long. It's a little bit long. It's a, it, it would be yeah. perfect if that stock were about a quarter inch, maybe a half inch shorter for you yeah. to get your finger up there a little bit better. Yeah. 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 Definitely Absolutely. something to look for because if, if you can't, I don't know, fire your gun quickly, or right. wield your gun the right way, yes. you're not going to be able to shoot as fast. And so, when, that, that's right. So when you're here, you want that finger coming here, right? And you're doing that as fast as you can do that, right? And so, and the guys that are really good at it, you can't even see their hand moving. It's so fast. They're shooting, they're shooting 10 shots through that rifle in about two seconds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So list these four again: the, the revolver and the three rifles. What did you tell me? Okay. So we have the the Cimarron short rifle, the 1873 short rifle by Cimarron in 357 Magnum or 45 Colt. The short rifle has the 20 inch full octagon barrel. Okay. okay. And you can get it in either the pistol grip design here, you can see the curve here, that's called a pistol grip, or you can get it in the straight stock, where you can see there's no uh, bend in the, in the butt stock there, it's just a straight stock there. So you can get it either way. Now this rifle is the 18 inch saddle rifle, full octagon. So there's only two differences between these two guns. Number one is the pistol grip design, and number two is the barrel length. Other than that, these guns are identical. Okay. So, all right. Perfect. And then the third one. The third one. The third one is the carbine, the 1873 carbine. We call this. Cimarron calls this the. Uh, U.S. Marshal Indian Territory. Uh, it has an 18 inch round barrel and it has a 12 and a half inch length of pull on the butt stock here. So it's a little bit shorter. This is a great gun for the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. And then our revolver. And then the revolver goes back to the Evil Roy. The Cimarron Evil Roy, which again is the 1873 single action army revolver and this is a clone of the original Colt and it operates just like the old Colts did from 1873. So Cimarron builds guns that are the most period correct historically accurate reproductions that are available. Uh, our guns are roll marked the same uh, as the old guns used to be. They're stamped the same. So when you, when you pick up a Cimarron firearm, you're picking up a gun that is the closest thing you can get in today's world to the old Colt revolvers and the old Winchester rifles. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. They're and, the real deal. And one thing we didn't really mention, but I'll just say it, these are gorgeous. It doesn't matter if we're looking at the front case where the revolvers are at, uh, actually, there are also a couple of 1911s up there, but also back here, just looking at, at these rifles on the wall, I mean, they're just absolutely beautifully made firearms. So, thank you so much, Greg. I really appreciate the time that you spent with us. Um, you know, make sure that you reach out to Greg or Cimarron Firearms. They all know what they're doing. We've had so much fun talking to the people in this booth. Um, so, you know, if you ever think might want to get into cowboy action shooting this is the place to go I mean, you can't beat this so thank you so much and glad to do it we appreciate will, it we'll talk again soon you bet take thank care you. Yeah. <laughs>